Hello everyone. I am the Black Shadow, and welcome to the new and improved and glorious XCOM 2. This is the very first thing I've uh, attempted to record on the brand new PC which we got hold of um, about a week ago it was now. I've been doing plenty of work getting it up to scratch. I've had plenty of help in regards to doing that. And hopefully, this is the result, folks. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at the details. The glint of the armor, the, the ruffles in the cloak, the fire effects. It's so delicious. Could, could almost make a grown man cry. <laughs> nah, nah, come on. Bit of professionalism here, everyone. Bit of professionalism. <laughs> So yeah, um, so yeah, it's been doing plenty of work on this. This is probably going to be a bit of a shorter video. This is going to be running as a semi-tech test with the PC. But, uh, well, apparently it's up for the job, folks. It auto-detected that. I was like, sure, let's do this. So, last time, uh, we had some, uh, some highs and lows. We had our second retaliation mission, uh, which we managed to defend off. Unfortunately, a losses have been incurred. We have lost um, uh, Quintilla, our, one of our back, um, you know, our, our real backbone range, which is very, very sad. Yeah, look at this. Even the ranger looks different. They got like glints of like the lights and shit. Oh man, this is how you know you've made it, folks. This is how you know you fucking made it. Uh, so, uh, we got hold of our fancy armor. The predator armor is now unlocked. I have spent plenty of time off screen. Doing some work with all of our soldiers. Everyone has had has been um, sort of reworked here, so we will go for everyone here. I've had to get a bit creative with armor choices in regards to trying to think of things that both are rather fitting, as well as kind of go with what they've got. So hopefully everyone approves. We will go through everyone here to see what they have here. Predator armor gives base four health to everyone. That's fucking awesome. Uh, so we've got the war there. Uh, there's Wilmo. Of course, the next thing for us to look to change is our weapons. Uh, that'll be the next thing to upgrade very soon. Uh, Lucy here, ready for a war. Quite like some of the... Uh, there's a mix here of... Actually, I'll quickly show it off here. Um, there is a mix um, with a lot of folks in regards to their props with uh, mixing um, the standard in-game armor with like uh, the Resistance Warrior pack armor. So you can see here, um, for example, basically the game gives you like, uh, there's three base legs you can have here. Um, basically, you know, uh, both of those, both of those, or one of each. Uh, but the Resistance Warrior pack has a slightly modified version, and I quite like this one here. It has like some uh, extra markings on the right. So that's pretty cool. So um, there's been some mixing of that as we go through there. There we are. Uh, what the? <laughs> okay, that's gone weird. And the buttons do on occasion, folks. So, Lucy. Uh, first of two new recruits into the game, folks. First uh, is uh, Anthony Larson, who has been rolled in as our uh, new squaddy, uh, courtesy of Chat GM, who I know has been keeping a very close eye on this series. Uh, unfortunately, um, the uh, the cornrows hair that you've requested currently is unavailable. Uh, you do not have a high enough rank to actually access it. So uh, this will have to do, and if you can get up to sergeant, then you'll get set your desired hair, basically. But I saw that, I thought, this is quite novel. So that's a thing. Your legs are wrong. What the hell? I thought I fixed that. I thought I did. Hold on a second. Let's do this while we're here. Uh, legs. Uh, let's give you that one. So that's a thing. Uh, we got uh, Manios here. Of course, you can't see too well, courtesy of the fact he's kind of pretty fucked up. Uh, one of our rookies. There is a second folk in here. Here is uh, his Alan George, who looks like an absolute fucking monster. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I had to get very creative with him. Go very really well. Uh, Mr. Clean, of course, uh, just a bad guy. Last mission, absolutely fucking sucked, folks. Absolutely sucked. Uh, no rookie. Uh, there's Kiro. Um, El Macho, uh, nearly El Macho, I suppose. Uh, we got to scintillate here, uh, another rookie. Um, and our next ranger who's going to be following in uh, is one Rose Windrider, courtesy of Gallantmon, uh, who um, I think I'll just do you now because you're going to have some business here. Again, very happy Faker. I think this uh, little sort of uh, decoration with like the white and black background looks really, really nice. Um, so hoping for good things for you. 
and they're back to the start there. So that's how everyone currently looks at the moment. I hope you all appreciate. Um, you know, I took some time trying to get things as, as good as I could, keep them varied as well. There's only one basic um, torso choice, and um, there's an extra one for the resistance pack, but I think it looks like trash personally. So, uh, so yeah, I had to do uh, a bit of creativity there. So hopefully everyone improves. Hopefully everyone does. Right, as to our actual business of the day. So, um, the Proving Ground and Resistance Communications are both very, oh, very nearly done. On. We've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM mm -hmm. stop her research. Oh, we'll find out soon. Don't you worry about that, Bradford. Uh, over here in research labs. Work on the current research so we're currently doing the Viper autopsy because I want to look to see what bonus uh, we can get hold of that. We've of course got the one scientist with you. Um, as far as stuff we want to be looking, because I've had a few days to kind of like break down and kind of disseminate everything that's happened and kind of rethink everything I want to do here. Um, so, yeah. Magnetic weaponry, I am very, very interested in getting hold of this very soon. Um, and what I might do is I might wait until like next month uh, to swing over to the black market and see if we can spend some intel uh, to uh, cut down the magnetic re weaponry research time. Because 19 days is a bit too long for my liking. I kind of don't like that very much. Um, so we obviously got the mech, uh, the turret breakdown, mech breakdown, uh, muton autopsy. Eight days. That is surprising. Surprisingly, surprising a lot. Uh, emulate their plasma-based explosives. That might upgrade our grenades, I'm going to take guess. And we've got an alien data cache uh, as well we can look to decrypt um, if we so desire for some intel, which we admittedly don't have very much of. I've seen members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. I can believe you, Tygon. Uh, so that's that. So yeah, so once the Proving Ground and Resistance Communication Facilities are built in the next uh, next couple of days or so, we can really look to crack on with there. So that will be good. Right. Um, we do, of course, have the ability... Yeah, the uh, Medical Bay, quite busy, everyone. Um, there is an argument that says, actually... You know what? I might send uh, one of our engineers into there. Six days, nine days, 13 days... Now, we got folks that can fill the gaps. I don't think we need to put anyone in right this moment, but uh, we'll keep that in touch there. Um, uh, that is all well and good. And then, uh, lastly speaking, over at the bridge. Oh, yeah, look at it, folks. It's it's so delicious. It's so, so delicious, folks. Just, just bask in the 1080p glory you're all witnessing, because I fucking am. This list is pretty big. No shock there. So, what do we want to... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> my voice completely went there. So, what do we want to do right now, folks? Um, so, obviously, we are currently building the radio relay to New Brazil. Um, and once we get the resistance comms building built in three days, I assume we can then make our way to New Chile with the intention of making our way over to Australia so we can look to visiting uh, this aim facility very, very soon. Of course, speaking of aim facilities... We do have the black site here in the US, which uh, I am very tempted and I'm very eager to get involved in this very, very shortly. Not right now, but I reckon in the next kind of couple of weeks in game, I think I'm going to be looking to make our march on that black site. Especially seeing this progress meter is a bit high for my liking. Um, we do, of course, have our two DLC missions. Um, I have been told that I can actually investigate the various signals um, and that will not trigger the game um, that will not trigger the missions as such, but will allow them ready for me to get ready to research them. We'll be doing the DLC missions in the not too distant future, but I reckon I reckon we're going to do the black site first. Once we've done this, then I'll look to make some time to address these locations. Um, also, because we've only got like 10, 11 actual physical characters, so that doesn't give me the biggest amount of leeway for injuries and such, especially this could be really bad. So as far as what we're going to do now, uh, we've got a supply drop coming in six days. So I reckon we're actually going to uh, we're going to actually head down here to this uh, Intel site, and we're going to crack on with starting to uh, starting to do this. I think it is the end of the month in the well, the new month is not too far away either. Um, so yeah, I think it's what we're going to do. We are we don't have anything else to do in the black market unless there's anything else I particularly want to sell. I can sell more lyrium crystals for some extra supplies. Tempted. 
16 supplies for that. That's actually not bad. That's not a bad return on the price it costs to get into that. We're going to sell some stun lancer corpses. And we'll sell a couple of set toy corpses. And I am going to sell five Illyrian crystals. Uh, just to have some supplies on hand. Because only having 30 odd is a little uncomfortable. We'll grab some extra supplies. And as far as buying's concerned, we could buy a couple of things, actually. We could buy uh, an Advanced Focus PCS, which is tempting. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I could rush off Viper Autopsy for uh, get two days off for uh, 15 intel. You know what? Sure. Let's half our intel. Um, why the hell not? Very nice. So that now only takes two days. Very good. Right then, so... Avenger plotting new course. What did I just click? I don't want to be there. <laughs> Avenger plotting no, 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 no. Well, that's cost me some time. Yeah, that cost me some time. God damn it. Well, never mind. That's my damn fault. Right, so we're going to start and it, trying to gather some intel here, folks. So let's see what happens. The Proving Grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the Skulljack whenever you give the word. Very nice. All right, let's have a look at our uh, new facility then. The Proving Grounds. The old, um, what was the equivalent in XCOM, the previous game? Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Commander. I can't think of it. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons. This is where we used to do all like the project development and stuff like that. I can't think of its name. So we can choose some projects. So let's see what we've got. So we have the Skulljack, which we do need to, you know, continue the game. Um, similar to terms, it's a physical interface designed to access the chip and in Advent Force's skulls applied using directed blunt force. So what else have we got here? We've got a spider suit. Uh, room made from an 8, 8 XCOM HQ indicates an early prototype for a light armor suit coupled with a grap- Ah, oh, the old grappling hook suit! Nice! You've got experimental ammo, which requires an Illyrium core. Using Illyrium cores we recover from the battlefield, we can develop new ammo types of our own that will likely be more potent than any of our current munitions. That sounds fun. Experimental grenades, um, which could give us um, improved grenades, and the exosuit. Uh, which is, yeah, more heavy armor, yeah, plated armor, basically. Um, you can add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor. That sounds fun. So, the Skulljack is what we need to, you know, actually complete the game. But, um, you know what? Experiment on ammo sounds very fun. Also, I don't know what that breathing is to the left of your um, screen, folks. I think there's someone in here doing something. So we're going to start with experiment with ammo. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we And you know progress. what? We're going to put in our uh, our engineer here, which I assume half the time. Oh, yeah. That's so much better. That is so much better. Five days. I like that. I like that very much. So this is where we'll be doing all of our uh, business here. What is that we were hearing? Oh, I think it was you. Larson! <laughs> all right, then. Resisting communications about to finish as well, so we'll get that done. We'll continue our intel searching. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Right, so what's a reward? I find it unusual, to say the least that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. Yeah. I find it truly remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species genetics are to the constant tweaks that are often subjective to. In the case of the Viper, a species once identified as the infiltration unit known as the Thin Man, the aliens have made a conscious reduction in their efforts to disguise its true form. Without the introduction of extensive human genetic material, the Viper reverts to a purely reptilian form while apparently retaining the same intellect and combat aptitude. The Viper's snake-like form is in many ways similar to the legless reptiles we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso musculature allows for upright mobility, and the addition of two physically weak but capable arms allow for the handling of traditional weaponry. Of the many, of the many alien species our troops encounter in the field, 
I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing over two meters tall to be among the most disturbing. That gives us a new actual proving ground uh, of project. Battlefield medicine. Um, nasty stuff. Capable of taking down even the biggest tough soldier. It also contains a number of enzymes that could be used uh, isolated for use on med kits. A greatly improving coagulation at wound sites. We're going to look at that too. So let's see what that's actually going to do, probably. As for our next thing we're going to do here. I'm going to wait to wait to try and get a reduction on that. Spend some intel and then we'll plow into that. Sonics I'm not too worried about. So I guess let's do some work on some more uh, breakdowns and stuff. Let's start with the turret, sure. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. I'm sure. I'm partly surprised that Shen isn't the one actually doing it. But hey. All right, then. We'll see you in three days. Oh. Right then, so that's nearly done. So let's quickly go back to the proving ground. And let's just do a bit of, um... Need two viper corpses. Damn. Okay, so we can't actually do that, folks. Oh, okay, so notice the Illyrian cores are very much needed for pretty much all of these things, folks, I've just realised. Yeah, look at that. Illyrian core needed for pretty much everything, along with sometimes some other bits and pieces. Trooper corpses for that. Okay, that makes some sense. So that's good to know why we've been collecting all of them. And important to know not to, you know, throw them off and just sell them willy nilly. We need them for uh, proving ground. Okay, cool. Back to the bridge. Not for very long, of course. Alright, we have our first leader trained, uh, Sergeant Dawson. Who has the collector ability, so killing any known human enemy has a 50% chance to grant one intel point as long as the leader is healthy. Very nice. Whoa, that was that was interesting camera work. Very, very, very good. Right. Resistance communications facility oh, very now nice. operational. Woohoo! Rebel radio, so we can now uh, get an extra contact. Very good. This is just the video I need just to test all this stuff here. Really good. So uh, we can actually purchase an upgrade to increase our resistance contacts. This will cost 125 supplies and 4 power. That's quite expensive. That is quite expensive. We do not have the power for that, so that's regretful. Makes me want to start working on the exposed power coil. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so back to the over here, the training. Yes. Okay, so we can't actually send um, uh, Dawson on to more training. Uh, that is not an option. I guess he's got to be a higher rank before we can look to do, send him back in. But still, that's fine. Um, so do I want to send either of you two as your own leaders? If I send any of you as leaders, you will not be able to... Uh, you will not be able to be in the same team as Dawson. So I only am going to be able to choose, like, three or four people to be leaders. I could do you. Hmm. No, I don't want it to be a grenadier, though. No, I, I'll think about it. But for now, we're not going to train anyone else in leadership at this time. I'll have to have a think about who I would want to send through. Wrong place. Who would I send, then? I like the idea of sending specialists through, actually. Like, my healing specialist seems like a, a reasonably logical choice. So maybe Ashley? I might send Ashley in, actually, if she gets um, recovers in three days. Well, I can get behind this. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Oh. 
So we have an engineer not doing anything. So I could get him helping to do the workshop, actually. Or do I start getting you to crack on with the exposed power coil? It's not. Nah, we won't bother with that right now. Let's get you fixed, helping to finish off the workshop here. We'll get this built, um, and then we will possibly put both of you down here. I can need another engineer, I'm going to be honest. That would also be good. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Okay, then, right. So, back to the bridge. Uh, so, I don't think we're going to get much more done before whatever is going to come up next happens. There we go, Rose. You are now officially a ranger. Congratulations. Right, let's send another soldier in through here. We might as well. Uh, who did we have and what did I decide I kind of want him to do here? We've got three sharpshooters. One... Just the two rangers at the moment. So I should probably look at getting another ranger. Specialists were okay. And grenadiers were okay. So let's get another ranger, I reckon. You've all got free health, though, which I'm very uncomfortable with. I know I've got Predator armor lying around now, so it's not so bad. But still, I... I'm not, not the happiest about that. What we got here? Would anyone here make a really good ranger? Your dodge is pretty insane, but you have free health. There's been plenty of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up <laughs> other than the autopilot. Oh, Bradford. Santiago? Yeah, you need more movement. You got 14 movement, Olga. Your, um, your, your accuracy sucks. 55, that's pretty, pretty horrendous. You've got good in range, and you've got good dodge as well. You'd make a fantastic heavy. Seven health, wow. You'd make a great, really, really good um, heavy. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Are we taking... Oh, oh, no, hold on. We're taking double cost from uh, recruits, aren't we, at the moment? That's why. I just realized, yeah, we're taking... It's 50 supplies, not 25. So, yeah. I need to wait for that to go, and then I'm going to look to get some more. But I do want to get another Ranger. Ah, we should be fine for now. All right, then. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're not going to do anything. <laughs> No, no, we are actually going to do something. Let's just um, send some of our rookies here into into bat to get some training. I might not assign them characters, though, because they're not very good. But they're there as backups, like, just in case. Should the worst happen. So is anything I would like any of you particularly to do? Emilio, I could actually send you in as a ranger. Yeah, we'll send you in as a ranger, sure. Again, Our work is proceeding as expected. Very Commander. good. Commander. Eventually, I will find the correct place. That's the one. Right, Emilio. Sure, Ranger. Right, I'll see you in five days. All right, then. Back to the bridge. Okay. Uh. Wait, is she here? Where's um? Where's Ashley? Two days. Okay, then. Because I do want to send Ashley in. I will be getting her for some training in leadership. That sounds good. Lieutenant as well. She gets access to... She can get um, two two hits of that, I assume. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. As always. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. I have a feeling we've seen this before. I think we did this before in the previous run, if memory serves me correctly. Um, so I won't repeat that. Anyways, we've got ourselves the Defense Matrix. The Defense Matrix repurposes recovered advent turrets as automated defenses to be deployed in the case of a ground assault on the Avenger. Huh. I guess that's nice. 
All right then. So next up, what do we want to do here? The mech. I was saying about Intel though. I would like a lot of Intel because we're doing a lot of buying next month. So let's work on the the data cache, I guess. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. <laughs> I, I think you're bullshitting me, Tygen. <laughs> I think you're bullshitting me, whatever. I've started to wonder how the Advent Administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see us as an actual threat or more of a nuisance? Pretty sure you've said that before as well, but never mind. Right. So, keep going. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Thank you very much, Mr. Councilman. We have done not too badly for ourselves. Not amazing. We really need to step on the Avatar progress, but other than that, I think we've done all right. With some 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 losses, it must be said. Okay, new staff at Resistance HQ. We will be paying a visit. Right, so these are the ones. Oh uh, shit, that's bad. Um, so we got uh, alloy padding. Some of the Zards will get some uh, some armor. That's annoying. Alien infiltrator. The aliens kind of ambush um, among the populace, placing hidden faces enemies on each mission for a month. Ooh. <laughs> and the hidden event we can't even access. We don't have the intel to access and see what that could be. So that's uh, that's unfortunate. We have ourselves the next supply drop to come pick up, which is very nice. We have ourselves, uh, yeah, so you see the income there, hence the supply drop down there to grab, which is very good. Uh, so, we are going to finish up here, I think. Right, there she is. All right then, Ashley, we've got some work for you to do. And I will be sending you in, Lieutenant Ashley. So, uh, all right. So we're gonna give you, uh, we're gonna give you get some, I think. So uh, spend an action uh, to grant all allies in command range a plus twenty bonus to their critical hit chances for the remainder of the turn. That might work for some of my more aggressive techniques. We'll see you in five days. Also, being lieutenant means we have access to vengeance, actually. Integrated warfare, but we don't even have any PCSs, so I'm not too worried about that. And of course, then this stuff we don't have access to yet. We need Captain to get to squad size two. <coughs> Damn. I'm amazed we've got this much stuff done without being like being forced into a mission mode. I'm honestly shocked. Strategic resource located. A stone wall running alongside an overgrown pasture was strewn with the corpses of several alien species. The bodies are deeply decayed, but still hold scientific value. Not wasting the opportunity to examine any alien xenobiology for weakness, the team brought the corpses on board. Dr. Stein to study. 48 intel. Not bad. Right, we are going to fly back to Resistance HQ. For Mexico. Yes, 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 yes. I'll get there in two seconds. I want to head back here first to see what's up on this rocket. Alright, still got to heal faster. Welcome, Commander. Hello. So we've got gather intelligence um, or rapid construction, as well as another engineer and a uh, sergeant ranger. That's not terrible, folks. It's not terrible. Okay, so that's that's that. Nothing too much then. All right then, let's go to the supply drop next. Avenger plotting new course. In theory, I'd like to then head to the black market afterwards. In theory. It's not going to quite work out that way. As you're about to see. Okay. Can't do the highly combustible and mini charge. Dragon rounds do bonus damage to all targets and can even set some targets alight. One dragon round's being added to the event rate. Neat. So I guess we only get one hit of that and only one person can use that. By the looks of it. Still, it's not terrible. Oh, I can redo the project to get more of the ammunition. I get it now. It all makes sense. Right. It's not It's not a one-time thing. It's that you can redo them. Also, why, would you stop clipping through my screen, please? <laughs> That's kind of rude. Okay, then. Well, let's go start working on our Skulljack, folks, because we do kind of need it. We'll get started right away, Commander. 
I'll send word when the project is. Oh, complete. there's a build queue, so you can actually set up more than one. Okay. It all makes sense now, folks. It all makes sense. Yeah, it's cancelled by then. Okay, that makes sense. That all makes sense. Right, okay. So, you're still working on that, which is fine. Okay, let's go to the bridge then. Nice. Very nice. I'm shocked that we've gotten this much progress in without uh, being forced into some sort of combat. I'm honestly shocked. Right, so the other two guys we've got here, um, we've got Leah and Pieter. Both should probably be in sharpshooters. Probably. Wow, will of 28. Jesus. You suck. <laughs> Peter, you really, really suck. You got a good aim, though. Right, we might as well send you in as a sharpshooter then, sure. I got nothing better for you to do. Whoops, wrong button. <clears throat> Everyone's recovered off of injury list as well, which is really nice. There's all our supplies. Very, very good. Okay, so... We've still got four days till the alien data is cached, so... That's nearly built as well. You know what? We might as well start clearing these out then, I guess. Nothing else to be particularly doing. Yeah, sure. Avenger plotting new course. We'll start scanning these out. Why not? Until the game uh, decrees otherwise. Commander, the aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. We do need to get onto this. There we go. 7 out of 12 there. That's not good. Right. I'm kind of waiting for the next mission to happen, and then I want to strike here after the next mission, folks. That's the plan. Thanks, Commander. The new workshop will do just fine. Very nice. The hell are they doing back there? Grief. I know space is limited, Commander. I appreciate the additional workshop facilities. We'll make good use of. Them. I hope so. Okay, so we can uh, we can put engineers here to to provide staffing gremlins. Allowing adjacent rooms to be. Oh, okay. So we spend like one engineer, and that means I can send gremlins on to the the nearby ones that are located next to us. Okay. Ah, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I like it. I like it. And we can spend a hundred uh, supplies and two uh, two pe uh, power to give ourselves um, another engineer. So I feel we could spend two engineers um, to have four gremlins. Okay, that makes uh, that makes good sense. That I like that. Nice. Well, in that case, then, folks, there is an argument that says that. Uh, hmm, how do I want to run this? I do need to get the next load of power done. That is for sure. Do I take you out, Robert, and get you start working on the coil? Your old man would be proud of what we've managed to do here. What uh, you've managed to do with this ship. I just wish he had lived long enough to see us fight back. To know that it wasn't all for nothing. Trust me, he knows. If there was one thing your father always kept in mind, it was his faith in humanity. He knew we could win on our own terms. There's one thing I like, folks. There's one thing I really, really like. It's shit like this. All right, so we can get up to six contacts now. That's useful. And that means our engineer is also free. So I think we're going to start getting you working on the exposed power coil. Yeah. Yeah, I really do think we're going to do this. You might as well get cracking. There's nothing else I'm interested in building, is there? There's nothing else I can build at this time. 
I don't have any rooms that are empty anyways, though. So, yeah. Start working on the exposed power coils, um, and I will get you some help as and when I can, Robert. I'll see you in a long time. <laughs> in a long, long time. Uh, dear me. All right, okay. Good, good stuff. There are a number of unusual energy signatures permeating this area, Commander. I'm seeing power fluctuations, intense heat, some psionic activity, all signs of a possible conflict. We should move quickly. I mean Commander, you and I both know what Valen meant to our operation. She was our chief scientist, one of our most valuable assets. With your permission, I'd like to lead this operation personally. I was able to get you out of Advent's clutches. Maybe I can do the same for her. Is that so, Bradford? Angerine's in the spot, eh? There's definitely signs of life down there. Fascinating. Right. Let's go and do the other, um, invest- the other encrypted signal next. Avenger plotting new course. We'll start clearing this done. So yeah, so now that mission is available for me to do as and when I want to. So everyone's recovered from their wounds. This is all good. Finally, the game said, right, I should really get you to do something, shouldn't I? I'm like, yeah, you really should. Right, so we've got, uh... So we've got Shambling Gaspy, destroy a relay. Um, that will give us a specialist. That's not terrible. We go to New Brazil for a scientist. That will def defy uh, alloy padding. Eastern US taking an engineer and defeat uh, an infiltrator. Notice how we can enter New Mexico. We can counter the hidden event, although we don't actually know what it is that we're countering. So it's a bit of a gamble. And give us a specialist, which is not to be shirked at, at this moment in time. New scientists would be fucking useful as well, and a new engineer would also be pretty useful too. Oh, they'd all be useful. <sighs> what do I do here? What do I do? They're all moderate difficulty. Oh, you're difficult. So, oh, it's a protection. It's a protection mission. Okay, we know how those can be. Advent units extra armor is frustrating. That is a problem for us, actually. Our armor is... Our, our health is improved. We don't have much in the way of weaponry. An infiltrator hidden faceless enemies on missions is not a disaster. It's an inconvenience, something I've got to be wary of, but I don't think that's terrible. And, of course, we don't know what that, dark, what that could be, so it could be anything. The specialist would be nice, but we're not actually in too terrible a shape here. I think we might be heading to New Brazil. Bearing in mind as well, New Brazil is about to finish its uh, tower as well. Or it might have already finished its tower, so we want to be making our way towards New Australia to start um, uh, improving the resistance network. So I think we're heading to New Brazil, folks. We're getting ourselves a scientist. I would take the more difficult mission, wouldn't I? Of course I would. Setting course for the Brazilian Corridor. <clears throat> right then, folks. So that means that next time... Oh, I didn't actually finish building the relay. Oops. Question. As I try and just be a bit cheeky here. Uh... It, don't worry about the lettering, folks. Can I just quickly finish the um, the tower before I do the mission? I can, probably. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have made a number of interesting Tigan! discoveries. Tigan! <laughs> oh, Tigan! All this shit I'm just trying to do here. Well, okay, we got to sell 60 intel. That's good. So uh, there's our cash. 
Um, let's discover what it is about this data in particular that requires aliens to maintain physical stores of critical information. Physification generally in general. One would think the inherent security risks would involve them enough to dissuade them. But, you know, it works for us. Very good. Good job there, Tygen. So I reckon... We don't know if there's anything there research-wise, though, so... Just make us start a magnetic weaponry. I foresee a number of valuable and we'll see what's up in the uh, the black market technology. in the next video. Or I'll so. have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Right. A love of. Ah. Long live the resistance. So I can't do that before the mission. Okay then. At least we know, folks. At least we know. You gotta do sometimes just 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 to see this. Is this a bit cheeky of me? Probably, yeah. I probably shouldn't be um, doing this, but whatever. All right, then, folks. That's the end of this video. Here we've had forty minutes of um, overmap stuff and base development and all sorts of malarkey's gone on. So next time we're actually gonna be embarking on a mission. We're heading to this grill up here in New Mexico. Um, we are going to be uh, looking for this protector device protection. Of course, I'm going to sort out our um, team off screen. Team I intend to use for said mission. So when we come back, we'll be ready to crack on with our Gorilla Ops. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this looks fantastic compared to all the uh, previous videos in the series. I really hope so. It should all be fine. Um, however, when it comes to things being fine. We're coming. We're coming. See you next time.